Hey guys, and welcome to part three of the kite boat. In this episode, I'm trying to level up. We are going to attempt to kite boat around the Isle of Wight. It's 90 miles. It could take somewhere between six and 10 hours. We don't really know. The forecast looks a little bit iffy. Um, the wind's a little bit light, but we're gonna go for it. Basically, I bought a boat, a little sailing boat that we can sleep in. So I really wanna put it to the test. And this is the first voyage. We're going to tow the boat with my sailing boat around 30 miles to the opposite end of the Isle of Wight, Hearst Castle. It's such a cool kite spot and it's the perfect place to start the circumnavigation. So all we need to do is load up the boat and go. If you're enjoying these episodes, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate it guys, but let's get on with it. Let's go. Not much space. The beers just keep coming. Look at that. We left the marina. Before leaving the harbour, we picked up the kite boat from the mooring and we were all ready to go. So it's about three o'clock, setting off to Hearst Castle. Got all the kite gear beers, food, and a kite boat. Just gone past cows, we're about halfway. We've been a little bit against the tide today. We left a little bit late. We were busy organizing the boat, but we're making good time. Um, yeah, we've done about 20 miles so far. Got about another 10 to go. So we finally made it to Hearst Castle, a little bit late, just enough light to find a mooring. Um, yeah, we were against the tide the whole way, so lesson learnt there, don't be against the tide, but doing like a good six knots, seven knots, but against three or four knots of tide, it means you're only doing three knots. So it took about, uh, what time do we leave? We left at three, about six, seven hours. So good hope for tomorrow, eh? We made it, yeah. There's still a breeze ready for tomorrow. Time to get the Barbie on. <laughs> Woo! Happy dairy milk. Fruit and nut. It's called the homely comforts in here. Good morning. We slept very well, got the coffee on. We had a lot of deliberating and planning the potential rounding last night. A few cutoff points. High tide is at one o'clock, so we need to get round the needles by 10 if we're gonna do it. If we're not round before 10, then we're calling it. So it's eight o'clock now, all hands on deck. We'll see how we go. We can always get to the needles and come back. There's no rush. We don't want to get in trouble because if we miss that, then we're going to be fighting the tide the whole way around, which, as we learned last night, makes a big difference. <laughs> so, yeah, quick brekkie, coffee. We'll see how we go. Let's get going. Um, yeah, wish us luck. Who knows how long it'll take. We've got food, loads of water, phone. Let's go. Highly Let's go. Prepared. 
So we're sort of off. I admit the paddles are coming in handy. It's 20 past nine. The cutoff, what was 10 or 11? So we push for time. There's not that much wind, but we're going to give it a crack and we can always come back. That rhymes. <laughs> Here goes nothing. There's not much wind. I think once we get some apparent wind, it'll be fine. But if we crash the kite in the middle, mate. Yeah. And we can always just float back. Yeah. And we need that dagger board in. We're away. There's only just enough wind, but we're doing it. What is our game plan here? I'm not sure. This is an active situation, isn't it? So... This shouldn't have happened this early in the mist. Yeah, it's not looking so good. There's so little wind. Crashed the kite on the jibe. Now we're disappearing in the tide. Not sure this it's going to happen. like a rescue operation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a full mission aboard. We're in the... <laughs> <laughs> so, first tack, um, <laughs> half an hour in, it was just wind with tide, so the test, we weren't sure if we were going to make it and there's just not enough wind. Because it's wind with tide, everything's just pushing you downwind and we couldn't keep enough line tension to keep the kite in the sky. So, I think a bought mission for today. Well, that was lucky, I would say, in one way. <laughs> we made it back to the beach, though. That is a bonus, though. We managed to get rescued within five minutes. This nice gentleman towed us all the way back to her spit. And now the wind's kicked in a bit more, but still, with that tide ripping in, I think it's just too hard to get around the needles. We've got about probably five miles up tide, upwind. Um, it just wasn't wasn't meant to be today. All, right, all aboard, all aboard the rescue bus. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't quite feel like we've been around the whole Isle of Wight. Way, I'm really relieved that we didn't get to go. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't get to the needle because it would have been an absolute grind. But I think we've learned for next time now. Don't fuck with the tide. <laughs> <laughs> get prepared and definitely take paddles for sure. <laughs> Don't listen to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Safety officer definitely needs to be revised. But <laughs> you learn from these things. Yeah, next time we got it. I think so. Failed mission. Um, we got going, but the wind was really light, just enough to keep the kite in the air. We thought we'd try and get to the needles, and if we can't get upwind, we'd abort mission. And sure enough, with four or five knots of tide pushing us downwind, eventually we lost line tension and dropped the kite in the sea. We had paddles, so we started paddling, but we managed to get picked up and towed back to Hearst Castle. Um, so yeah, now we're back on the boat. Abort mission, but all in all, we learned from it definitely don't mess with the tides it's not worth trying unless we get the tides perfect we don't want to be rescued by the coast guard on the back side of the Isle of Wight so um, I'm not too bothered we'll have to come back and conquer it again but the wind's coming up we've just given Azza a call and I think we're gonna have a freestyle session and use the kite boat in the flat water so failed mission but I think it's gonna be a sick day time for a cup of tea
with the kite boat. It was really nice going in this flat water. Had my watch on, we were doing about 25 kilometers an hour. It's probably 15, 18 knots, something like that. So after getting rescued, we finally got back to the mothership, um, reconfigured and took the Hobie back down to Hearst just for a session in the flat water. Um, had so much fun, got it going about 24 kilometers an hour. Um, so yeah, it was a sick session. And yeah, Aaron, Hadlow and Ryan are actually coming along later. Tom's gonna go pick them up in the Zap Cat and we're gonna have a little freestyle session because the wind's just picking up. Might even get a few loops in later, so. This is uh, my first hot shower on my boat. I have to say, this is quite civilized. Oh my God, that is nice. When the bloke told me that I could have a hot shower, I was sold. Right now, I'll take my wetsuit off. You're not watching now. Feeling a bit rusty on the old unhook trick, <laughs> but got a couple of clips, a couple of clips. Great fun though, nice riding in flat water, finless, doing a few butter slides. <laughs> not, not by me. <laughs> anyway. So 
bloke just got back from an epic session with Azza and Tom. Um, thanks to Ryan for filming the clips. Yeah, it was enough wind to do some freestyle. I haven't done some bindings, unhook tricks in a while. Um, felt a bit rusty, but got a couple of things down. So yeah, it was really fun and to ride in the flat water. Um, even managed to use the stones as a little kicker. After warming up, having a nice chill, saying goodbye to Tommy. Back to the other one. Big up, dude. Big up. Good mission. Yeah, it was fun. Until next time. So after an epic day of kite boating and riding with the boys and chilling out the back of the boat, it's time to make some dinner. We're going to be here for the second night tonight and then we're heading back home tomorrow, early doors. It's going to be a nice sail downwind. Right, so morning after day two. Had a really nice night's sleep. As you can see today, it's minging, it's raining really windy it's time to go home um, and i wish i brought my waterproof trousers don't know why i just assumed that it wasn't going to rain of course it's very wet never assume time for some bacon coffee and eggs let's get out of here So we're making good time this morning. We left about 9.15. Uh, I reckon it's gonna take sort of maybe four or five hours to get home. We're doing about seven knots. Um, yeah, my first proper sail going downwind with the tide as well. Very different story. just got back into South Sea Marina. It took three and a half hours to get home. It was about 30 nautical miles. So yeah, almost twice as fast on the way home. Just goes to show you have gotta get the tides right. Um, but yeah, overall, epic trip. Really, really, really good first voyage. Um, towing the kite boat was fine. We had no dramas. Um, touch wood, the boat's all good. Yeah, it was really nice to cook on it, sleep on it two nights. Um, and yeah, it was cool that Tom came over and brought the zappy. But yeah, another epic adventure and kite boat trip. So much potential with this. I can't wait for more adventures. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash the like button if you want to see more sailing kite boat adventures. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.